I can't even begin to count the number of times that I sat in a staff meeting or professional development as a teacher where someone would stand in front of us and tell us how important it was for our kids to be reflecting on what they were learning in our class. And I always loved the idea. I wanted my kids to be able to do it. But I always got frustrated with trying to make it actually happen in my classroom. Well, today I want to introduce you to a teacher who's found a way to fix that problem. Let me introduce you to Amber Kowatch. Amber teaches second graders over at Franklin Elementary School in Ludington. And what she's doing that's so special is she's helping her kids connect and reflect on their writing through a classroom wiki that she set up. Now in this screencast, Amber is going to share with us some of the ways that she uses that wiki to help her kids with reflecting on their work. We hope this sparks some great ideas for ways that you can tweak it to make it work in your own situation. Enjoy. My name is Amber Kowatch and I am a second grade teacher at Franklin Elementary in Ludington, Michigan. And I teach using wikis in my classroom. So what is a wiki? A wiki is a website developed collaboratively by a community of users. And I kind of like to think of it as a two-way street. Most websites that you go to are a one-way street where you go simply to view the content that's there. A wiki is a two-way street because you can not only view, but also add or edit the content that is there. Why use a wiki? Because wikis are built for multiple users, it really creates the perfect environment for collaboration and communication in a classroom setting. Having so many students in one classroom, this opens up a way for us to communicate and um, without going over top of each other in a, in a discussion-based setting, we can add our thoughts and ideas and still uh, respond to each other <clears throat> in an environment that is much quieter and friendlier in the classroom. It provides more well thought out ideas and information and um, wikis can be used for any age group with any content area. So getting started, my classroom has a set of iPads, so we use iPads one-to-one -one in the classroom. Because of that, our technology director recommended that we look into wikis and how we could use those in the classroom. Having a one-to-one -one environment with wikis is great because all of my students have access all the time while they're at school. Um, my students also take their iPads home, so most families that have wireless are accessing the wiki in that way as well. However, wikis can be used on any device with internet, so it can be desktop, laptop, mobile phones, any device that you might have in your classroom or at home. Uh, a free website that educators can use, it's actually free for educators, is called Wikispaces, and it's one of the most common websites that educators use. It's extremely user-friendly, very, very easy to operate, and it can be used for many, many reasons. So regardless of what kind of wiki you have, whether you have a wiki server like I do, or whether you use wiki spaces, there are so many uses in the classroom. It has really become our classroom filing cabinet. We use it for everything that my students need to learn. Some examples are um, we use it to house our vocabulary and spelling words, lots of science, social studies, all types of content area work, vocabulary words, pictures, videos, anything that will help us learn the content. Uh, we use it for housing our writing ideas and strategies, our student work, videos, pictures, and anything that might benefit us in any educational way in the classroom. So here are a few examples. You can see that I have the children's spelling words and vocabulary words laid out by our lesson. They have access to all of the lessons that we've used throughout the year. So it makes it a nice resource for them to go back to at any time. If they know that they had uh, one of their vocabulary words as jubilant, they can go back at any time and look up the word jubilant and how to spell it and how to correctly use it into a sentence. We also love using the wiki for KWL charts. So for content area practice in science and social studies and writing, we'll go in and we'll build a KWL chart. My students will blog about uh, what they know and then we'll have some lessons on the content, watch a movie or do some hands-on things. And then they'll go back in and, and blog about what they learned. So it's a great place for them to log all of the things that they're learning in the classroom. It's also a great place for their parents to go in then and see what their children are learning in the classroom. So not only do we use our wiki for content area practice, we also use it in other ways. 
We have a classroom scrapbook which houses all of our videos and pictures and the kids love that because they love to go in and see themselves and see, them friend, see their friends on screen. Um, <clears throat> every month our class makes a little movie to kind of represent what we did throughout the month and we put that on the wiki and parents love to see that. It really gives them a good connection to our classroom and all of the fun things that are happening in it. I also use it as a, my classroom website, which is a great way to communicate with parents. I put all, all of our newsletter information, upcoming events, um, who our little O's of the month are, which is our uh, student of the month, and our schedule and any fun things that might be happening. We also have a Hall of Fame wiki, which is really fun for the kids as well. I post all of their best work on the Hall of Fame wiki. And then my students log into the blog and they can comment on one another's work. It's really great to see them reflecting in that way, where they're reading a peer's authentic writing and then going in and commenting on what they enjoyed about it. Each of my students also has their own wiki portfolio page. It's their very own page that houses all of their published work and movies and anything else that's specific to them. So you can see here on Luke's page, he has a couple of stories that he published, as well as a video about himself. And down below, parents are able to log in and comment to their students. I'll show you that here. So we have lots of communication. We have student and student communication, which allows students to comment on one another's work. Um, and dialogue about what they've learned, which is a pretty big deal in lower elementary for students to be able to verbalize exactly what it is that they've been learning. We like to use the FACE strategy or the CAFE strategy for a reading. And one of the things I do in small group, we have Wiki Wednesdays. And so after Wednesday when we learn our new FACE strategy, we go in and we blog about what it is exactly that we learned. And we'll also talk about how we can use that strategy when we're learning to become good readers. We also have student and teacher communication. <clears throat> Students can discuss what they know, want to know, or have learned by making KWL charts. It's great to have KWL charts on our wiki as opposed to up on a poster in the classroom because those often get taken down when space runs out. So on the wiki, we have unlimited space and we can keep all of our information throughout the year gathered there. It's also a great place for me to relay information about new concepts or concepts, concepts that we've been learning about. One of the most exciting things that's been happening this year is the parent and student communication. Uh, one of the great things, another great thing about having a wiki is that wikis can be accessed from any device with internet. So parents can access our wiki at any time of the day, whenever it fits their schedule best. They can go in and they can view the wiki portfolio page. On the left, you can see Kelly's wiki portfolio page and how her parents have been responding to her throughout the days, um, giving her well wishes, hoping that she has a great morning, and also reminding her to practice her subtraction facts, which is pretty neat. Um, and also, Abigail, on the other side here, has been um, receiving comments from her family as well. Her parents have been going in and reading her stories and commenting on how great her stories are and what a great writer she is. So it's exciting to think that parents can now communicate with their children throughout the school day um, where before they were never able to do that. Wikis offer a really great way to collaborate. We can collaborate in small group by students working together to verbalize concepts that they've learned. We can work together and collaborate in whole group conversations where we're all brainstorming lists and ideas. For example, we at the beginning of the year brainstormed a list of writing ideas and it's helpful for the students to be able to go in and view all the hundreds of different ideas that we have that we can write about instead of just the five or six that they were able to come up with on their own. We can also have cross-group collaboration. I like to have my students working in groups in the classroom and posting information that they're either researching or learning about from a story, and then communicating or collaborating with other groups by responding to their blogs and um, their project and how they're learning. I think maybe the best benefit of using a wiki is that it gives my students the opportunity to reflect. Reflection is something that can be very difficult for many people, so for them to be able to 
reflect in a natural way that's not being forced on them, it's really exciting. My students are, are constantly reflecting on what it is that they're posting, what it is that their peers are posting, and um, as well as content area reflection. So anything that I might put on the wiki, it's there for them to go back to again and again whenever they need to. So they're constantly reflecting on what they're learning and how their skills are getting better and better. For example, at the beginning of the year, their writing may not be that great or up to par yet. They're just coming off summer break. They may have be forgetting lots of periods and how to spell words and where capital letters go. But they really take notice that at the end of the year, their writing has dramatically improved. So wikis can be a wonderful addition to any classroom at any grade or any subject area. They help create an environment where communication collaboration and reflection can happen naturally and easily. Wikis can be used whole group, small group, individually, at school, at home, with students, with parents, and with colleagues. They are a great addition to any classroom, regardless of your technology situation, whether you have one-to-one -one or whether you just have a teacher desktop in your classroom. Wikis can be used in many ways and can be a great addition to your teaching. I hope this Rumsey Connected Educator Series Showcase on Amber gave you some ideas about how you could use wikis in your own classroom. We look forward to bringing you more of these in the future. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or email me at dan.spencer at jcisd.org. See you back here soon.